our heart must burn for this kingdom. Islam used billions to advance the cause of Islam. Billions! It's only we that don't care. I just saw the news of Deeper Life Church. They just finished building an auditorium, right? About almost 130,000 capacity. How many billions was wasted? That's what people will say. But if you have the idea of this kingdom, it's not a waste, sir. It's not a waste. It's too small for God. Small for God. Why will he do that? Why will he do that? And the person shouting this wine has not given even one nera for the thing. The people that gave the billions, they are even looking for another opportunity for Papa to say, let's go do another thing again. You will remain small until you begin to think kingdom and understand that the kingdom of God is like unto a treasure that nothing is enough to purchase it. If I come to a point where we have to do service, there is no money. And money does not come from nowhere, sir. Forget the account display. If you give nothing, I will sell my car, sell my shoe, sell my shoe, sell everything. We have to sell all the speakers, sell everything until we clap our hands here and say thank the Lord. It will be more glorious to us in heaven than anything. As God help us, we keep on adding some things to beautify. But whether with that microphone, the kingdom will be preached. The kingdom of God is lacking unto a treasure that no money can buy it. If money can buy it, only billionaires will sit in the front row. But you will be shocked in heaven. You may not find them. The Bible says it's very hard. It's like a camel passing through the eye of a needle. Because many rich people are serving mammon. The only way you can conquer mammon is to ensure that you become a slave. But it's very hard to make it a slave. Party of the kingdom, parable of the kingdom revealed to us the kingdom of God is too expensive. And only with the hard posture of death to what mammon is, we can buy it. He went further again to give another. He said. Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a net. Oh no, 45, right? Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a merchant man that seeketh God goodly pairs, who when he had found one pair of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. It's the same in line with what I just said. Do you realize that most of these merchant guys, when they find one pair, that they know that this pair can purchase, when they take it to somewhere, they will sell it more. They will sell everything to just get it. Do you know as a businessman, you know. Let me just use Dangote for example. It pains me sometimes to have to use some of these people. Dangote, have you saw the news of Dangote recently? That in one day he made about 20 something billion. I mean, if you saw the news, you don't even care because your money is the one that went to him. Just last week, one day, Dangote made 20 something billion because he, you know he was no longer the richest man in Africa. Somebody overtake him. But one day he made that money and he turned back and bounced back. Dangote was the richest man in Africa. He, he took all his money and entered into the refinery. You realize that all his money he put into producing one of the largest refinery in the whole world. I even have to borrow more money from the bank. Why? No problem. He saw something that is worth it. It was like a pair of great price to him. He gathered a team of people together and said, Give me the money. Just give me the money. If you just give me this. He put in all his money. In fact, that thing took him from richest man to about how many number? No problem. They were working on the refinery, working on the refinery, working on the refinery. Right now, everything is getting okay. Do you know that fuel price is going to be reduced by this one? You don't even know. Damn go tell the refinery is about to start working. Everything will be reduced. And he will still be a billionaire. He will still make more money. 
So by the time he took that money and did that, he finally, now they are done with everything. They are about to start operation. Everybody, every country now know when they calculate the price of oil in Nigeria alone and they multiply, everybody know that when they give him their money, they will make more gains. Everybody is returning back to the money to him. Everybody is investing. Every nation is giving the young man money now. Within one day, so much money came. Many things happened. And now he has even too much in abundance. Why? He has found a pair of great price. Let me tell you, everything you spend for this kingdom, you will get it times many. Nothing is lost when it's for the kingdom. The last parable I can see here. Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to the shore and sat down and gathered the good into the vessel, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and severe the wicked from among the jaws and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto them, Have you understand all these things? They said unto him, Yes, Lord. We understand. The same question I'll ask you. After I've said all of these things, have ye understand? Because if after all this teaching on the series on the parables, yet again you still sat down there and you are wondering, is my life worthy of this? Should I do this? Should I not do this? I have told you the pattern. When Jesus was done explaining the parable to them, he asked them, Now you have to understand. Are you willing to follow even to the end? Though the outer man perish, the inner man is renewed day by day. It may look as though there is so much pain in our pursuit. It may look as though there is so much challenge and disadvantage. It may look as though we are wasting again in line with the kingdom operation. See, everything will be restored again. Give it time. It will shock and surprise you. Jesus said, no man leave father, mother, house, and all of this and that will not receive a bounty of it again. Again and again. The challenge is that we have made mom on the center of our pursuit. Many of us are discouraged because an academic result was not good. Some of you are discouraged because you did not eat before you came to service. Some of you are discouraged because in your account right now there is no one nera, there is no two nera. Why should God bless you? When even if God bless you, it's the mammon that you will go and serve. Many of you, if God bless you, you just worship yourself the more. You will decorate yourself the more. You will buy new clothes, buy this new shoe. There is nothing bad there. But no part of it will be for kingdom. God has given you 10,000. Even to remove 1,000 and say, God, thank you. Even to pay for somebody transport is a challenge. Why should he give you 10 million? Why? You see why God will look at you and leave you like that. Can we rise up on our feet and see who God circumcised my heart again? I have allowed the pursuit for all kinds of things take the center posture now. I choose to serve you. Be the master and the Lord of all. I now realize I can't serve you and serve mama. No. 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 